What's going on everyone? You're welcome once again to David YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm going to be showing us how to set up your DBT Cloud account. For the last part of our DBT series, we've been working with DBT CLI, uh, which is DBT Cloud, uh, not Cloud, DBT Command Line Interface, right? And um, on this video, we're going to be showing you how to set up your cloud um, account, just in case you're interested in using DBT Cloud. Uh, this is because now coming videos on dbt we're going to be making reference to dbt cli and dbt cloud so people who are using dbt cloud can also uh, make reference to that and we could also use cloud as well for some of our tutorials all right so we're gonna hit the ground running right now all right so see you and if this is your first video if this is your first time coming here i'm really excited to have you here please i'd like you to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you can be notified once a new video comes in and um you don't you don't get to miss out on any of our content and also i need your likes and your subscribe so youtube can recommend this video to similar viewers like yourself all right so let's hit the ground running all right so we're going to create our free account now So I'm signed up for a new account. All right, so I mean, um, before we get started, help us secure your account by verifying your email address. So I'm just going to do that. All right, so I have verified the email address and I've been asked to sign in again. So, all right, so we've logged into our project and um, it says we offer step-by-step -step guides for the following data warehouses, BigQuery, Snowflake, Databricks. We're using BigQuery for this demonstration. All right, so the first thing you have to do is to name your project. Um, DBT automatically, you've already completed this step. You can update your program configuration. Yeah, DBT just calls it analytics, right? So that name is there. Second thing is you have to choose your warehouse. So I'm using BigQuery and I click on next. Um, name of my warehouse, I just call this BigQuery David Data. Then I'm going to upload the JSON file. The same JSON file we use for our CLI, that's the same JSON file we are going to use for this. Okay, yeah, it imputes all this information and then you can leave the others as it is and test connection. Yes, so complete, the connection is successful now. The next thing we need to do would be to set up our repository. Yeah, so we're using the GitHub repo and we'll connect my GitHub account now. Yeah, so is it um, so I'm selecting this DBT test triple. Because DBT already exists in there and you're good to go. You start developing in your IDE. So really that's how simple to set up your DBT um, cloud. Your DBT cloud really, yeah. Um, I, I think recently, last two months, or uh, last month there about DBT cloud interface was changed, which is, this is real, the new one. Yeah, I think, what do I even have in here? Okay. So then you create a branch. So I'll call this new branch. So you create your new branch, you develop your branch and then merge to your master branch. Nothing to compare for your pre-request. So we are good to go. 
and you can start your analysis you can create a new file in any of your folders like we talked about in your models folders snapshots macros and all that stuff here so thanks so much and um keep dbt in. is there anything in here oh there is so let me just do a dbt run So it gives you a summary log, everything visual, like beautiful. DBT run successful. Yeah, so really. So if you come to this model, yeah, you can see your code, your SQL interface, you see your model. So unlike on, unlike cloud interface, unlike CLI, where we have to generate the docs and go to different website. Here you can view your results of your run. Let's run this. You can see the results, you can see the compiled code, the compiled SQL, and you can see the lineage or your DAGs all in one place. So beautiful stuff, right? Okay, thanks so much for watching. See you again.